All right, folks, so for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show how you can program an analog repeater from the BTEC DMR6X2 digital handheld ham radio. Um, I'm also going to show you one other quick tip that, uh, that I use that's coming kind of handy because otherwise this video would be pretty short and we just want to add some additional content for everybody so they can learn something. In an attempt to minimize reflection, I've turned out the lights just so you can see. This is the repeater that we're going to go ahead and program into the radio. All right, I'm going to turn the lights back on, and hopefully we don't have any more reflections. Okay, just a little bit. So this is a stock configuration on this radio. Um, <clears throat> what I did is I just put the original um, download that I did from the radio back on it. So that way this will work for anybody. So when I when I get into my radio, what I want to do is I want to use the top button and I want to go to VFO A. Okay, so you can see while I'm here in VFO A, dang, I got to set that menu so it lasts a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's do that so we don't run out of display time. This one thing drives me crazy. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see, we're in a digital channel. Let's go ahead and just program the receive frequency for the repeater that we want to do. So it's one four five two nine zero zero zero. So now that we have that, I'm going to go to menu, and then I'm going to go down to settings. And then when I'm at settings, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick channel settings. So when I do this, the first thing I want to do is go down to channel type, and I'm going to switch from digital to analog. When it's done, I go back. Now, when we looked at the settings for this particular repeater, one of the things that we saw is that it had a PL offset. Um, this offset is for me when I transmit to the receiver. So I'm going to go to TCDT. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to pick the type of tone that I want to send. And I want to send a CTC tone. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select that. And it was 94.8 for that particular repeater. So I search, search find 94.8, I select. And then I hit back. Going to hit back again. There was no receive tone for me when the settings for that repeater, so I'm not going to go ahead and program one in. Okay, going down, the next thing that I want to do is pick my TX power. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. I can pick low, middle, high, or turbo. This repeater is way out of range for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick turbo. Then I'm going to hit back. And then I'm going to go down. I'm not going to fool with squelch mode, mode because it's already set correctly. Um, bandwidth, you don't really have to fool with this too much. Um, for analog, you are going to use wide, not narrow. Narrow is used for DMR digital modes. Uh, so here we go. We're going to leave this. This is, this is the receive frequency. So this is the frequency that I hear the repeater on. I'm just going to confirm that that is correct. And then I'm going to hit this button to go back to P2 button. And then I'm going to hit my text frequency. So because there's an offset, my text frequency is different, so I'm going to just delete that. I'm going to go 144690000 because the offset was negative uh, 6, negative 0.6 megahertz. So I got that in there. I'm going to confirm it. Hit the P2 button to go back. <clears throat> I'm not going to pick talk around. I wish they didn't put this on these uh, type of radios. Talk around gives you the ability to talk on the transmit frequency of the repeater, which means that other people who are listening to that frequency would hear you, but the, the conversation would not make its way into the repeater. Let's go back into settings because I waited too long running my, run my mouth. So I'm going to go back to channel set, go back to where we were and we left off on talk around. So now I'm going to pick the name. Oh, it says VFO channel can no support. So let's just go down. We're not going to do any busy lock or TX uh, prohibit. This is for DTMF encoding. We're not going to fool around with any of that. And the last setting was work alone, and we're not going to fool around with that. We, there's, there, there's no need to. So going back to the top, what I'm going to pick now is store channel, and it's going to ask me for a channel number. Now, I happen to know that 12 is a channel number that is open on this radio um, in its base configuration. So I'm going to hit confirm. And now it's going to ask me for a name. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick K. So I'm going to use the keypad down here. And then after K, I'm going to hit this button, the hash, the hash mark. 
to switch to numeric and it's K2 and then I want to switch back to uh, characters and the next one is H oh I'm in lowercase let me hit that one more time oh, oh, oh we're getting all messed up H and then the last letter is R so I hit confirm and now it's asking me to store the channel in a zone. I'm going to pick zone one because this is factory configuration. There is only one zone. So I select and then I'm going to confirm to save. And there we go. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go back, back and see I'm still in VFO mode. But what I can do is switch to, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to switch back to um, memory mode. And you can see right here that it's on channel one. And if I if I change, then I can go to channel 12, and that's the frequency that we just put in there. One of the things I can do now is I can go back down to settings, and I can pick radio settings, go to option four for channel name, and then I can actually pick the channel as opposed to the frequency. So when I do that and go back now, I'm seeing the call sign of the repeater that I put in there. Not too bad, right? The other thing that I was going to show you guys is this button here, the top one on the side. If I press that right now, it tells me the battery power, which is useful information, but I have a battery meter at the top, so maybe I don't really need it. So I'm going to go back into settings, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to leave it on radio settings. And I'm going to go down to... There's a lot of choices here. There we go. Uh, key PF1 short. I'm going to select that. And you can see it said option 2 volt. And I'm just going to go down to number 3, which is text power or, or transmission power. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. That should be good. Back, back, exit. And so now when I hit this button, it set me at low, set me at the middle power, set me at high, or set me at turbo. And as I go through those, you can see right here that this icon will change to let you know where you are. Anyhow, that's really it. I want to say thanks to everybody for watching. Uh, if you like this channel, go ahead and click like and subscribe or leave a comment below. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate you watching.